Hey flowers, it's your girl Risa Friend. I'm back with another video. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? This is going to be my Bride of Chucky Halloween costume. We already got the blonde hair on. We're gonna hop right on into it. Before we get into it, like I said, my name is Risa. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the baddie of all trace of a dot a little type of vibe, sis. And we do fashion, hair, nails, makeup, and all of that good stuff. It's something that you are interested in. Make sure that you continue to watch, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. Give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, and share this video with your friends. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so I am already starting to block out my brows. I'm going to continue to do that and then do my whole face, which will be um, like my regular face. Um, so I probably won't do that on camera. I'm using Elmer's glue to block out my brows. Probably not going to do this on camera because I'm not that good at brows. I only did one layer so far. Um, I'm not that good at blocking them out. So when I come back, you're just going to see my blank face and we're going to be ready for eyes and lips. And then I'll voice note through that because baby girl is here and she needs to watch her show. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. I'll be right back with the face half done. So we can do eyes and lips and all that good stuff. Okay, you guys, so I did one eyebrow. I'm using my Morphe uh, brow pomade and I'm going to do this other eyebrow. I'm just doing one thin line of, at the top as part of where my natural eyebrow is. Um, so yeah, that's just what we're doing. It's just one straight line. I'm trying not to make it too too thin, but um, and I'm trying to arch it very well. So I'm just right now going back through to the other side and making sure that they're even. Sisters, not twins. We're not gonna stress ourselves. Uh, once I do that, I'm actually taking my Rumor 2P Louise base and I'm going to put that underneath that eyebrow and then all over my lid. I want to use this color as opposed to the darker color that I always use to clean up my brows so that it still hides the hairs that's underneath because I'm not that uh, good. I'm not an expert at blocking out my brows. So I thought this would help. Uh, once that happens, I'm just going to take a eyeshadow brush, a thick one, and just blot that out or blend that out so it's nice and smooth. And then we're going in with our Halloween James Charles palette. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in with a red, and I'm going to use that as my first color on my lid. I have a assistant here doing the voiceover. Tell them what's going on now. Yeah? Okay. So then we go on the second color. This is like a purple plumish uh, red. I was going to stick with only reds, but I thought maybe that this would be nice because we're doing a smoky eye. And we wanted to have a nice, beautiful gradient of color. Because we got to be the eggs. Okay, so once I'm done with blending that out, I'm going to take that same color and kind of go underneath my lid with it um, just to give it some dimension and to complete the look. What else? What else am I doing? So once that's all blended, I'm like blending away but this is really important I take that black and I'm just um blotching it or black uh, dabbing it onto my eyelid before sweeping across because black um once you put it on there it I don't want to like I have a black eye so I'm trying to go slow with this and build the color up I only swiped on the um eyeshadow palette once and this is all the pickup that I got um so I'm just going to start blending that out and placing it where I need it to be on my eyelid and yeah so once I'm done with that then I start to do those pieces and stroke those out and then I go back in with that same red and reddish purple yes, color and I'm just going to blend that into the top of the lid so it has that gradient look into the black and that's how you get that perfect smoky eye vibe so that's what you see me doing on either side just going back in and adding in those extra colors just to give it a perfect blend so we don't have any issues Okay, so now I'm going in with my contour palette for Morphe, and I am kind of really like 
putting that on. I'm trying to give like a different type of cheekbone. Um, I tried to do that when I was doing my um, regular makeup, just trying to like make my cheekbones a little bit more defined, but not too, too much. I still want to kind of look like me, even though I'm trying to be somebody else. And then we're going in with this red blush in that same Morphe contour palette, um, just to give it more of a bright kind of look. So then I go in with my trophy wife. I definitely want to use trophy wife for this because I want to make sure that I'm giving you very much Chucky daddy vibes. And I feel like if Chucky, I mean, bride of Chucky, what's her name? Tiffany was, you know, around, then, you know, she would have trophy wife. She would be giving you glistening. You know what I'm saying? She just gave that vibe. She just gave that vibe. And now we're going to do our beautiful mole with our regular Glamite eyeliner and then I'm just gonna go in and draw some eyeliner on my lid now with the eyeliner I'm just doing a simple line nothing too crazy I don't want it to be you know too too wild you know so just taking my time with that And again, sisters, not twins, but I do want to try to make them as even as possible. All right, so now I'm going in with three different lip colors. The black is from Jeffrey Butte. The second color, which is like an oxboard color, is from Ramona Joan Cosmetics. And then the third is Ruby Woo from MAC. And I'm using those to kind of make a dark, dark ombre. Even though it is going to look kind of black, I want to have those reds peeking out in the lip. Um, so that's why I'm even using the red at all. If not, I could have just used all black. But I wanted to kind of do the same vibe that I'm doing in the eyelid. I wanted my lips to um, mimic that. Um, and yeah, so you see me doing that. And then I kind of come back with the lips. And then you'll see me um, put the put the root root in as you can see right now. Um, and with this blonde hair against my skin with this makeup, it's starting to really give a vibe. Like I'm feeling like a whole biker chick bad girl. So we finished our makeup for the most part. We're going to do our lashes off camera and I'm going to get dressed. But of course, I'm going to show you the full bob. She does have a Chucky tattoo. I'm not going to paint mine but um, because I have the rose tattoo. That's just going to have to do. Um, but we got some fishnets from Amazon, of course. A white bodycon because we're doing this as very much modern biker chic. We're not doing a wedding dress. A white bodycon. And then, of course, we're going to throw on a leather jacket and some combat boots. So, I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. And then I'm going to hop right back on camera. I'm trying not to touch that white dress. I'm going to hop back on camera with my lashes done. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do bottom lashes, like a whole strip. Because I want to still get the doll, like, effect. But, um, yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am absolutely in love with the way this makeup came up, and the costume looks so good. Um, I'm going to post me on the side here, so I'm going to just switch over so you can see the full body moment. Um, it is super, super cute. Um, I like the dark, vampy moment. Like, this is something you could wear today, um, besides the eyebrows. The eyebrows can't be this thin. But, I mean, it is super cute. Like, you can hear my jacket like, eh. <laughs> But it's super duper cute, you guys. I really, really love how this came out. I even love that my hair is like this cute little bob. It actually works. I try to tease it and make it like I didn't do it. I just kind of like to make it look like a little bit wild. Like hers was like a wild girl. Um, super, super cute. Everything that I have on besides the jacket, because this jacket is kind of old. Like I've had this jacket for a few years. Will be linked down below. Um, yeah. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this Bride of Chucky costume. I enjoy doing it. Um, it's definitely baddie Bride of Chucky, period. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to join the follow like, gang, 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 by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. See you guys in my next one. Bye.